Hey everyone, hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I am away, so I can't do a live stream, so I thought about doing something a little different, giving you a bit of a studio tour, show you my workspace and uh, my little basement dwelling spot that I do all my videos. So I'll show you some of my collection as well in this, and uh, I'll show you my equipment. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions or give me some links to you know places that I could buy maybe upgraded equipment when I actually get the chance to do so. And when I get the funds to do so, that's uh, very important here. So, uh, yeah, this is my uh, computer setup here. I set up, uh, I use both for research purposes, but I, I need to get a new computer. Like this thing is, you know, it's, it's on its last legs. I, I do have a lot of issues with Premiere Pro, especially when it comes to rendering videos. It takes up quite a bit of time. I do have just a bit of decks here on the windowsill, stuff that I have been you know, working to organize some stuff. I always have uh, these for shipping out things to my patrons or just, you know, if I sell any cards. This stack is another stack that I need to organize. There's some more cards that I'm also going through as well. And this spot is the spot where I do my live streams, yes. There's my headset there, and there is my background display. I do have a light that I use mostly uh, for when I'm doing my random buys or anything where I'm opening things up on this table here. I will use that light to give it a better, you know, a better look. This is a Raphael poster. Yeah, my favorite Ninja Turtle. And I got a bunch of cards here that I have to organize. Yeah, more stuff down there. Uh, this is another light. This is more of a soft light I'll use sometimes if I'm doing a double uh, monitor display thing for my random buys or, or any pack opening where I'll have one shot of my face and the other will be the cards being opened. I will sometimes use that, but uh, this light is pretty bad. I would like an upgrade. So if you guys know of any lights like this, specifically for photography, that are, you know, under $100, preferably, let me know in the comments. Here's some more stuff from Random Buys. Uh, this is Diablo 3. And I got more stuff that I've gotten from Random Buys. I, this is actually... <laughs> this is funny. So these are just Dragon Ball Z SH figure art stuff. Uh, I do collect those. I haven't really had any time to display them or anything, so they're just sitting in their boxes. Uh, more stuff that I'm organizing for random buys. And then these are some Marvel Legends, actually. Uh, actually, had guy, I got these on sale. I needed the bath pieces to set up Sugar Man, so I built him. So yes, I am a bit of a nerd. I have more things here. More lights. This one is uh, a new one I actually purchased last week. Works pretty well. Yeah, very bright. I'll turn that off. Uh, I do have some filters here as well. Different colors for different moods, I guess, depending on the video, that can be appropriate. And yes, there's some, uh, obviously, outlets. This TV, it's literally just here. I don't even use it. At first, I wanted to use it to watch YouTube videos, uh, or just maybe even for a background in a video topic or anything like that, but I just, honestly, I don't use it. Here's my tripod. Not very good. Very inexpensive, though. But, I mean, it gets the job done. Looking to buy a new one soon. There's more stuff here. Uh, there's some more cards that I have to organize. And what's below here? Uh, some more. Ah, Marvel Legends. There you go. Marvel Legends. This is a photography box. Good for taking pictures. This is more stuff that I would use when I was doing toy reviews. That uh, I actually stopped doing those. Another empty box for shipping. And uh, some photos. We got some uh, Captain America poster there. This is a Marvel Legend my cousin gave me. Well, it says Marvel Legend, but it's not really because it doesn't have all the articulation. It's also not a six inch scale. There is a Batman as well there in the corner. And this beautiful sliver. Thank you, Alberto, if you are watching this. This is uh, from the Italian packs that I opened up. There was Sugar Man that I was talking about. That was the Build-A-Figure that I completed with all those pieces that you saw on top of those bulk bins. Oath of the Gatewatch pre-release kit. There's a thought cease. Thank you, Jake. That was uh, from one of the P.O. box openings. I got some open booster boxes there in the back. Pokemon, why not? Marvel Legends Sentinel build a figure from like 2004, 2005. And we got a Venom pool there. Deadpool riding with Dupe and Gwenpool, Wolverine Cable. We got some more Marvel Legends here. This is uh, more of an Avengers display with Giant Man. Love that Giant Man. So old, too. And there's just some Marvel Legends sitting there. I uh, don't really know what to do with. I have some more here in the back. 
More Marvel Legends. Yeah, not a lot of magic. You're like, where's the magic? All this stuff is magical. We got some Wrecking Crew members there. And this is my little Spider-Man display. I'm, I'm most proud of this. There's Spider-Man there on the ground being tormented by all his villainous foes, including Chameleon and Rhino and all them. And I actually found a way to hang this lizard up on this post. And I got, obviously with these bendy tentacles, got Doc Ock sitting there too. And I got some boxes. You see this stuff in the all, any of the videos that I'm doing where I'm just addressing the camera. No market movers. You do see these in the background display. There's my Spider-Man uh, villains versus heroes. Uh, this one is a custom I actually did myself. I painted this all with a nice metallic, shiny silver paint. So that is that. I also have my green screen that I've used in a few videos, mostly the MTG Top 8 stuff. Uh, I haven't been making much use of it. I kind of, I feel like I should, but oh, it's just a pain in the ass. And again, my computer, like I really need an upgrade on that. Anything that's going to take me longer time to render, I'm just afraid of it crashing. I've had to redo videos multiple times before because of that issue. And it's, you know, it's something I have to upgrade, but again, it takes a lot of funds to do that. This is another light. And this is uh, one of the new lights that I got. I put a blue filter on. I'm still adjusting which color I want as the background display. So this is kind of how it looks. So, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that an okay light filter? There is like red, yellow, uh, purple, orange there. So, I don't know, let me know if you guys think that is a decent look. I'll turn that off for now. And yeah, that's uh, that is basically it. That's just some filming bags there. And yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. So, okay. Uh, let me know what you think I should change in my display. What you guys think that, uh, I should do about all this stuff. Should I do more green screen videos? Let me know. It is hot in this basement. Usually basements are cold. Today it is brutally hot in Toronto. So I'm really feeling it here. Anyways, let me know if you guys are having a good weekend. Sorry I missed you on the live stream. I will be back for the live stream next weekend, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, great studio, right? I got that. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.